How's it going? Just one for fishing. Nothing happened. I yeah. mean, flat out zero. Yeah. He was out there for three hours. They were out there for three hours. Nothing. You guys have any frozen bait? No. Yep. Shrimp, squid, so one fish on the shrimp. Yeah. Yeah, they can get uh, corpus and white in. Just got to find them. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good, good one, man. You know, Thanks. Today we are going to be fishing a pier down here in South Florida that has some gorgeous water. We'll take a look at this real quick. Oh, that is pretty. That is tropical. So right when I got in here, the guys were like, yo, the fishing is just terrible. Nothing. Nobody's caught anything. I'm thinking they're probably referring to like bigger fish species, at least I'm hoping, like what people, you know, snook, tarpon, maybe bigger jacks, stuff like that. And normally like that's not what you want to hear, right? When you get out to the fishing pier, I paid $4 for entrance. Got a bag of frozen shrimp. The thing is though, this is Florida. There's not only like big sport fish out here. To be completely honest, the possibilities are endless. So we're gonna walk down here. It's just, this water is so pretty. I just cannot get over it. But just around here swimming, I'm sure there's a bunch of different species that I never caught yet. Maybe we could add some to the Pokedex. And uh, yeah, man, it's freaking beautiful. Sun is shining. We're gonna do our thing, see what the heck we could do. This is my first time ever fishing here. I don't know. We'll see what we can make happen. It's funny though, cause again, as I was just talking, the guy came out and he had to bring somebody else something, but he, he came back, he was like, dude, I'm telling you, sucks here. Hey man, I'm sure hopefully maybe we can catch at least something. Kelsey's over here on one of these beaches. She came down, chilling in the chair. This is beautiful. Like this is so cool. Oh my gosh can you guys see that like i i don't know i always say it but where i come from in delaware we got this like greenish brownish like dirty water this like i could see the freaking sand move. i could see everything this is like paradise it's really cool too because there's the pier where a lot of people are fishing and then i don't know if you can see that there's a bunch of surfers out there waiting for some nice waves a lot of beach goers enjoying the beach we got some pier pigeons. What's up, my guy? Hello. Oh, we got a whole squad out here. What's up, guys? It's a pigeon party. I love fishing, but there's something just about that feeling of getting out. The opportunities, especially the new spots for different types of pier fishing. We got a bait cutting station right there. Pretty cool. Oh, I like that. We got recycle. Shout out to this pier. Where should we go? Which side should we start off on? What are y'all feeling? Wow, that is so pretty. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. I think we're going to start off like in the middle and then work our way down to the end yes this is a good spot as any right it's post up tropical species possible big species possible giant sharks swimming that's why i never really understood like people who swim around the pier like right around here it's kind of a little sketchy if you ask me with all this fishing going on here is our frozen shrimp and we are just going to put this on oh there it goes all over the ground all right we're just gonna try this first. Just gonna chunk up a little bit of this. We're just gonna kind of do what we were doing at the Keys. Little piece of shrimp, little hook, going to the leader to swivel, and then just got a sliding sinker. See if anything's down there and we'll just even bite this. This is the smaller setup rod we have today. Put this right by the piling. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of sketchy right there. <laughs> Things wobbly a little bit. Don't want to lean too hard. So far, no nibbles. It's a big change from Key West. Like any piling like that in Key West, you drop on, you just pop, pop, pop. Little snappers and grunts everywhere. There's got to be snappers around here too, right? You would think. We also have a bigger setup for hopefully maybe some bigger lures. Some bigger bait, something. Hopefully we freaking catch something. We'll just let this soak down there for a little bit. The thing I like to do when I come to new spots, especially piers for the first time, is just want to look, you know? Kind of observe what other people are doing, the gear they got, the baits they got. You can really learn a lot, especially from the locals, by just watching. It might sound a little creepy. Does nobody want my shrimp?
All right, well, so far, I'm just gonna toss this out and see if anything hits that real quick. I've seen a bunch of like little, smaller, skinnier fish, it looks like. They're kind of popping and going all over the surface. I don't know if those are houndfish or needlefish or they might be ladyfish, I don't know. Did actually get two bites though, and if you could see this right here, they kind of frayed the line a little bit. I don't know what the heck those things are, but they're toothy. Super toothy. It's just like a little crappy jig. All right, we're starting to get some fish bites over here. They see my shrimp? No? Hello? Something's biting me. Right here. I thought I got a bite earlier on the shrimp, but I just, I don't even know, dude. I know it's not pristine, like, fresh shrimp. It's that frozen, crusty shrimp, but you think at least something would be nipping, right? I did a little bit of research. This pier is in this whole area is apparently super fire, like, later in the year, like, more towards summer. There's, like, huge abundances of snook and all types of stuff. During the winter, like, we're February? I don't know. <laughs> I have not seen one person catch one fish. No signs of life. But we gotta make a sign. Motivational first state. All right, we're moving down a little bit. At this point, I had soaked a lot of shrimp with no luck. But down the pier, I saw a guy hook into what looked like some sort of pelagic fish. So I grabbed a spoon to see if there were more around. That's not bad. The Spanish? That's a mackerel, buddy. Spanish mackerel. That's what's running. That's what people are looking for. Oh, really? Is it a good size then? I'm not quite sure. I think so. All right, I'll look it up. Huh. Cool. Let's take a peek. 12 inch. All right. Yeah, it says 12 inches. Not bad. Boom. First Florida Spanish mac of the day. That was surprising. They got a crazy dorsal fin on them. All right, I saw somebody catch Spanish, so I was like, all right, I'll put a spoon on. We're just kind of like bouncing it up and down. Dang, dude, these scales get all over the hands. Right. Yeah, well, that one, that one, that one's over it. Thanks, man. That's what they're out here looking for. Okay, I, I saw a guy over there pulling up, so I just threw a spoon on and just started. There hasn't been anything out here in a month and a half. Really? Ribbon fish. You ever see the ribbon fish? Yeah, like like translucent almost yeah, looking. Yeah, ribbon fish, that long sucker. They say it's good eat. Not for me, but. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> they look like an alien. They do. They look like something off Mars or something. I started about oh, three months ago. Right there. Oh. oh, man. Whole school of them. Oh, man. Come on, eat right here. Right here. Eat this. They're just chasing on that bait right there.
I saw stuff doing that earlier. I thought it was houndfish. Right here. I'm running this right through them. Come on, I can get oh, one more. The nastiest fish I ate that I caught up here was a bonima. It's like a big silver fish. Oh, yeah. It's gross. Never eat those. How'd you cook it? Um, well, the first piece was bad. I threw it in the trash. Do you know what bait fish those are? They're popping in those filters. I have no freaking clue, to be honest. I'm like, I'm not from here. Are you using a spoon? Yeah. Have you caught any jack? Not. Yeah, I just caught a Spanish. I think that's what's chasing all that little bay right there. Probably. So weird. I saw a guy catch one, I caught one. I saw some stuff busting. And now it's silent. These Spanish man, they just stay moving. They're one of those pelagic fish that they're just they're just going. It's sort of like a bluefish. Like if they see shiny or moving, like a lot of the times I feel like they'll just like attack it more aggressive fish but that's why i carry this big old backpack kelsey's always like why are you doing that especially because my foot's kind of freaked out right now but i carry it especially it appears like this so i got options i was able to whip out the spoon just kind of letting it go down and just jigging it back up and it's just doing this flashy fishy dead fish kind of motion oh i'm so happy we caught a fish dude look at that you see what this fish does to your hand all these little scales Kind of like bluefish. Here is a closer look at the fish. It couldn't stay there too long just because I didn't have any ice. It was in the shade and uh, yeah, I didn't even think I was gonna catch something to keep. But that is going to be some food and dinner for us right now. Woo. Woo. Back in the kitchen with Chef First State. I got a good feeling today, man. You know why? Is it the fish we caught? Possibly. Is it just the area that we're around? This freaking beautiful water? Possibly. Or is it these? Do you guys know these cookies? They come out like every, uh, I guess, holiday sort of. These ones, the springtime ones with the little Easter, I think it's supposed to be a chick, interesting looking chick. Every time I see these dang things, Kelsey and I always have to freaking buy them. So we're gonna cook this fish up, but before we eat, we gotta make sure everybody else is fed here too in the family, you know what I'm saying? All right, Kelsey just took the puppy to the bathroom. He honestly, I think might love this campground more than we do. I don't know if I really mentioned it in this video, but basically we are like a block away from the freaking beach. And that dog is a swimming dog. We can ask him about it here in a second, but I think he freaking loves this area. All right, so basically here is one of the fillets. I'm just gonna cook this up. I'm not gonna show you, it's gonna be super boring, but then we're just gonna dice this up and we're gonna make this into something. I'm super freaking hungry right now. So we're just gonna use this and real quickly turn this into some magic. As I said, we're kind of in a crunch for time right now. Well, basically, I'll explain what we're doing here. So we got this fish cooking over here on the pan. Once that is done, we're gonna kind of mash it up. If that just, it sounds weird, but I hopefully think that this is gonna be pretty good. If you guys saw a couple of videos ago, we did a crab rangoon type catch and cook. Basically, we mixed crab with some cream cheese and some other stuff, and we got these crispy little ragoons, right? Fire. I went back to the grocery store, and they had these dudes. These are freaking egg rolls. So I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do this before. I'm sure it's been done before. We're gonna make fresh fish egg rolls. And like once this fish is done, we're just gonna, gonna mash everything together, put some stuff in it, put the egg rolls in the fryer. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully we get some fire egg rolls. I literally turned around, he just came back. Two seconds later, this is God. You want a treat? You want dessert? Woof. Can you sit? Good boy. Okay, wait. Paw. Good boy, other paw. Oh, you are drooling. Other paw, this one. Excuse me, sir. Can I paw? Paw. Yes, I, I know, other paw. You know that one. Oh, good boy. Okay, spin. Sit. Gentle, okay? Gentle. Nice, gentle. Did you have a good time swimming at the beach? On our second channel, we will uh, show all that stuff. Like, he, he loves freaking swimming, man. He, uh, He's never really swam in water that blue and that clear. Yeah, it's a good boy. Is that yummy? But then he's gone to 
We're gonna go take a nap with Kelsey. As I said, I myself are kind of in a pinch, so we whip this up super fast. I need to, like, you guys have to help me out real quick, all right? When we do these catching cooks, which I love doing them, and we've been doing a bunch recently, what do y'all want to see as far as, like, the whole process of doing everything? Obviously, the fishing. We go out there, we fish, we crab, whatever, we get the food, right? But when we come back, like, I know YouTube has kind of come out and said that they don't like you cleaning stuff um, on camera, which if you guys want to see, I don't know, let me know. But also, as far as the cooking process, like, is it boring? Like, should I list out, like, every single step that I do and film every single thing? Or do you guys just kind of want to see, like, a mashup? And also, the most important thing, the last part, is when it comes to eating. Sometimes, like, I low-key get roasted. People are like, oh, you took a bite. Or, oh, you didn't even show the bite. Like, I don't know. Is eating on camera... Some people, I feel like, just don't like to watch it. But then other people want to see a full-out mukbang. So, let me know what you guys think. But this is what we came up with for today. I uh, wish I could have shown you a little bit more. Again, we're in a rush. There will be a lot more videos coming out here soon. A lot more catch and cook. So I'll say this. If these are really good, I'll do it again. Maybe if you guys want to see that. And I'll put the whole hot recipe and everything. But if you guys go back to that crab rangoon video. Um, basically, we caught crabs and we made a little crab rangoon. It's basically this, but they're just smaller. We pretty much did the same thing. But we just kind of substituted the crab for this fish. I have had Spanish mackerel too before. I'll put it the video in the description below. Like a long time ago, we caught them off the beach in Delaware. Where like people were swimming around. It was pretty cool. Anyway. Let's get into this here. All right, take a peek. So this is a Spanish mackerel egg roll. We got cream cheese. We have a little bit of, uh, what, what's it called, soy sauce. Put a little bit of some seasoning in there and put our fish, kind of mash it up a little bit. See how she is, look crispy. Mmm. <laughs> I'm just like, anything with cream cheese, I'm a cream cheese guy. But I think cream cheese and seafood goes really oddly well together. I might have to do that again at some point. But basically, if you guys want to see more catch and cooks, let me know. Let me know what other kind of fish or what other kind of catch and cook types of catch and cooks you want to see. Also, hopefully I'm going to go back to that pier. A bunch of people were like, hey, this pier kind of sucks these days. I guess for like the past month. And then I've heard other people be like, yeah, this is like the best pier in the United States. I guess maybe it's not the time for that. Either way, the, the Spanish mackerel there, I had no clue. Hopefully we can go back there. There's like a specific bait that people were using to throw. Maybe we'll pick some of those up. And uh, yeah, man, we've got some really cool, exciting videos. Really excited for you guys to see some of the stuff we filmed. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. You see you next video.